So, we're back at the uh, 49th Street. We're going to continue moving east on the Florida Trail today. I can't tell you what a liberating feeling it was to get the oil change done on the uh, motorcycle. Uh, I can just unleash it now. I just, it was wonderful. I just had it full throttle coming all the way out here. It's a long ways, you know, to get to here. And uh, we'll see what the uh, what the trail looks like uh, moving towards Shangri-La. I'm, I'm just sitting here in the uh, in this nice picnic shelter, um, enjoying a little beef jerky and uh, having a drink of water here. And um, we'll get on the trail here in a minute. And um, just want to say what a what a liberating feeling it is to be able to ride a motorcycle. You know, those of you that are out there locked in your homes, I mean, just. Just think of my VFW, you know, they uh, recently had a, a case of the virus and uh, and so they're completely shut down, even here in Florida, you know, we're not totally free. Um, so, you know, that was kind of my social network, uh, being able to go in there and have a beer and talk to everybody and uh, I, that's not even available to me anymore. So I think it's really important for your mental health, you know, to get out and about and do what I'm doing and just hike. You know, I'm hiking trails. Uh, I'm very disappointed or very upset that the growth here in Florida is just astronomical. I mean, for the first time, there's a stoplight up on the uh, the corner there at uh, 49th Street. Um, that's just because of the, of the number of people that are moving to Florida. Please, God, don't bring your, your politics here to Florida. Let's, let, let, let this state remain free. I mean, that's that's what... I want and that's what I'm hoping for you know my, my wife says that because I'm a white person I'm a systemic racist <laughs> I you know that's how the media has brainwashed people I mean are you kidding me I I have never cared one iota about the race of anybody it's only about your merits and what you're capable of doing and how you help me and how I can help you uh, I just hope that's how you feel too um, that this whole uh, this whole brainwashing of, of racism there is there's no damn racism people you know everybody is 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 equal all men are created equal in the eyes of God there you go let's just get on to the video so here we are we're at Southwest 49th Avenue if you recall in the last uh, going east Florida trail video we came down those stairs and then we turned back and went up to the parking area which is off to the right over here okay so now let's uh, let's get started we're gonna go across here I've never hiked this before so should be interesting let's see what we see so I thought I'd get this kind of a a good feeling like you know it's kind of like being up on the uh, the Appalachian Trail you know you're, you feel like you're you're way away from the bike path and uh, you're kind of way back in the forest and a bear might attack you at any time <laughs> but I mean it, it, it is a it, this is a beautiful beautiful piece of the trail and this is what I really really like this is what I love about hiking and uh, I'm glad that you're kind of getting to see this with me um, what a what a amazing day it's like 80 degrees here in florida uh so good to be free i'm so glad that these crazy lockdowns are, are not happening here in florida and uh you know it's it's uh it's just a beautiful beautiful day once again seeing no people but uh isn't this isn't this amazing look at this portion of the trail really really cool um i, I know i'm taking too much video this is going to get too long i got to be careful and we'll We'll hold off from here. So not much to this portion of the trail, <clears throat> you know, as I expected. Like I said, I didn't even bring a hat, you know. And uh, so now we're crossing over the bike trail. It's just been meandering next to the bike trail. So really not a lot to see, but if you want a nice, easy hike, uh, this is good. I mean, you know, it depends on, you know, when you wake up, what do you want? Do you want to go back and get burrs stuck all over you and try to hike north? On the trail cutting your way through or do you want to just a nice easy hike uh, with well marked and uh, of course the bears there's bears out here oh my god 
but uh, no, it's a, it's a very, very nice hike if you want to take the 49th Street. We'll get some more video here in a minute, but uh, you, can, you can kind of see what I'm seeing. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful hike, but uh, very easy. I don't understand, once again, why this portion of the trail is so well maintained and the other portions are not. But uh, like I said, the goal is all 1,500 miles and we're working on it. So this is a very nice touch here. So somebody uh, obviously brought this picnic table up into the, <laughs> the forest. Uh, and you see the horse trails are right there. And uh, let's just kind of look around. And of course the horse trail is going back this way. And we're going to continue on. So far I haven't seen a single person. But we'll, we'll keep going. So this is kind of a different look. Isn't this beautiful? Holy moly. Kind of kind of just breaking out into a, a little bit of a forest uh, look. I, I, I forgot to tell you, I got some good stuff. I, I bought a pair of uh, goggles. Because <laughs> I, all I had was this old Iraq war goggles that, for the motorcycle. And uh, I should be wearing a helmet. But uh, what the hell, I can't. Now, hey, by the way, I got the carrier finally on order for the back. 500 damn dollars. Oh, my God. You know what? But here's, here's my thinking on that, is that uh, if, 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 if the crap does hit the fan, uh, which I think it will, you know, at least I can, because there's so many people moving into Florida right now, you know, I can take that motorcycle and uh, use it with that carrier, and I'll be a delivery guy. And uh, I'll make pretty good money, you know, probably a couple thousand a month, easily, because uh, I'm getting 100 miles to the gallon. And uh, but I, right, and here's 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 something you need to think about is that you got supply chain issues. Okay, so so they were telling me they were like, well, you know, do you really want to order it? You know, and I said, yeah, put it on order. They said, well, it could be weeks, weeks or months before it gets gets here. And uh, and then they were going to charge me 200 and. Fifty dollars to put it on the motorcycle. I no, no. I said, does it come with directions? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? I can. I'll sit in my garage and I'll put it on the back of the motorcycle. I don't need to pay somebody two hundred and fifty dollars. Plus, you know, you want to be able to take that thing off. Possibly, you know, like if I've got to go up to Gainesville um, quite often here soon. I got to get a couple of medical procedures, whatnot, and uh, so. And I'm going to be taking the motorcycle because I'm getting 100 miles to the gallon. And, and that's what I've been telling you guys. Resilience, man. you got to be preparing yourself for, for uh, basically food prices going up. Oil prices are going up. Everything's going up. But isn't this a cool portion of the trail? I like it. I'm having fun. Uh, this is what it, hiking is all about. And uh, we'll get another video here in a bit, but I am pumped that at least I've got the carrier for the back of the motorcycle on order. Who knows when it'll get here? It could be a couple months. The supply chain is just so broken right now. And uh, let's just enjoy the hike. So I just wanted to kind of give you a look. Uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of winding along the, the uh, paved bike trail. All kinds of stupid signs talking about bears. Uh, <laughs> if you're really going to worry about a bear, you got to understand the bear is as scared of you as you are of the bear. I, I didn't even, and, and I'm totally ill-equipped. You know, look at this trail. I mean, <clears throat> I don't get it. When you go east on the Florida Trail, it's 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 a just wonderful, maintained, uh, peaceful hike. Uh, going north, I'm having to cut my way through with burrs and 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 uh, just craziness all over my body. Now I will tell you this: as far as freedom goes, I I loved riding my ADV 150 uh, out here. It was uh, you know I just changed the oil and that I could put up a video about that. And uh, what a what a beautiful thing! I mean I'm I can unleash it now. It's all broken in. And I've got 700 miles on the engine, and I just opened it up, and uh, hit max is out about 65 miles an hour. But when you're getting 100 miles to the gallon, who cares? And and the beautiful thing was is that I could just park it, you know, any place. I mean, you can just pull that thing in. I, I put it up in the woods. 
<laughs> I mean, who's, who's going to stop me? And, uh, and once again, you know, we're out here all by ourselves. So just wanted to kind of show you the trail a little bit. This is uh, hiking uh, to towards Shangri-La. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, we just left the 49th Street. And, uh, you know, if, if I see something interesting, I'll pull off. But we're going to go a couple hours up in here, and then we'll uh, turn around. And unfortunately, you know, hiking back, I don't get to make much video unless I tell a war story. Which, you know what, I, I think we're, we're almost to the point where I need to get into uh, the Iraq war, you know, and uh, what that was all about. Because I've kind of told all my military <laughs> stories from from Camp Lejeune and Marine Corps basic training. And uh, and then, of course, I hit uh, 29 Palms. And, you know, it's, it's just kind of funny as you go through life where you get to bounce around and see things. But what a, what an easy hike. I, you know, I didn't bring nothing. I don't have bear spray. I don't have any any protection. Because I, I just knew this portion of the trail would just be this easy. Why can't they... Why don't the trail crews maintain the, the trail going north? Um, and, if, you know, because I'm having to cut my way through there. So we'll make some good progress today, and I'll show you what it looks like. Wow, what a non-woke message. Florida trail foot traffic only by order of the landowner. Not foot traffic welcome, foot traffic only. Woohoo! So, just kind of wanted to show you this. I mean, what an this is a green trail. If you're going to go mountain biking, wouldn't this be awesome? I can't wait to bring my mountain bike back in here. Now, the Florida Trail's right over there, but you know, it's just kind of moving on this way. I don't know what the ribbon means in the tree, but uh, really, really an easy hike. You know, gosh, I wish they would cut the trail in going north, but let's just keep going. So I thought this was weird. <laughs> I don't really understand it. But uh, somebody left a little race car here on, and we're out in the middle of the woods. I mean, think about it. I mean, this is this is what the trail looks like. And we do have this, I mean, isn't it great to have this picnic table right here? I mean, what a place to come and have a picnic. And uh, with these rocks here. But who knows, <laughs> it says 12, 12, 20, 20. Maybe they were just trying to, to leave a memorabilia. And uh, let's, let's get the, uh, you know, in, in memory of Joseph. Joseph, thank you for this uh, wonderful picnic table, whoever you are. All right, let's keep going. All right, so rather than continue on the Florida Trail at this point, we're going to make a left here and go into Shangri-La. I want to show you that campground. Nice place. Uh, uh, let's just see how many people are there. I mean, so many people are coming to Florida. Uh, should be interesting. Now, you can see the, the blue markers on the tree say it's going left. And let's hike down in there. I've driven my car in there, but I've never taken a video of it. And uh, we'll come back out once I show you the, uh, the campground. Once again, we're back to foot traffic. Welcome! Not only, but welcome. So if you want a good hike, I'm really enjoying this from the Shangri-La. Uh, you know, it said, uh, let's, let's take a left there. And man, we're getting a lot of up and down. My heart rate is through the roof. If I have a heart attack, you, <laughs> you can find me in this ditch right here. But anyway, let's, let's keep on going. I mean, I'm getting the heart rate up. I'm going up and down. I'm really, really enjoying the, uh, the aggressiveness of this hike. Look at this. I mean, you're kind of going right into a ditch here. Foot traffic, welcome, you woke people. And uh, let's just keep going. I'm sorry this video is getting long, but you know, once again, I'm seeing a different look as we're moving towards the Shangri-La campground. But uh, you can see what, a, what an easy hike this is. Just kind of hiking out in here. I'm glad it's a cloudy day. I didn't bring my hat or nothing. But uh, we'll get to that campground here soon. And I uh, just kind of wanted to show you what it's looking like here. Very nice. Very nice. 80 degree day. Whew. I'm sweating. So this will be our next stop. Going east on the uh, Florida trails. I got to work my way back to the car. 
I'll get a good war story in there. Um, you know, it's, that's a beautiful thing, man. When you're bicycling or you're hiking, nobody bothers you. You can see we got a building here, but let's uh, let's look at some of the history here. You know, and once again, it's talking about the 200-mile channel across Florida, connecting the Gulf of Mexico with the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it didn't happen, but I guess it turned out to be a good thing. Um, citizens defend dreams of reshaping the earth. I'll let you uh, pause right there and read it. But I found this more uh, more interesting right here. Uh, Shangri-La Diggins. Look around, you'll notice the sandy soil and pine trees. This habitat is called Sand Hill. It grows on ancient sand dunes left behind when sea levels were higher. Hmm. Sand Hill is now exceptionally rare. It's ideal for building houses, shopping centers, and golf courses. Yeah, and boy, the building around here in Florida is just booming. Uh, I'm very sorry to see it. I really like living in the country. I did not want to be in the city. And this is going to be just like Orlando here soon. Uh, but let's go back into the campground and get a look. You can you can read this on your own, and uh, let's keep going. So I'm kind of walking around the campground. It's definitely a horse campground. You can see the, the posts down here for... But I wanted to show you true freedom. Look at these, this setup here. He's got the, look at those huge tires on those bikes. So they can go mountain biking. And uh, and then in the back of the truck, he's got the uh, the motorcycle. Looks like they got a fire going. I don't wanna, I don't want him to freak out as I'm making a video, but I just wanted to show you. Look at that truck, he can, he can get back in here. And uh, of course, they're probably living out of that trailer. And uh, let's just look at the rest of the park or the, the campground here. Nice place to stay, uh, definitely for horses. And uh, well, we gotta, I gotta get back to 49th Street, but this will be our next stop, and uh, that'll be the end of this video. And the next video, I'll make a, a good wartime video for you for for the next one. So I only try to show you the weird shit. <laughs> Isn't this? This is bizarre. You got a little stool right here with a ladder. Add another light. I guess it's probably to get up on the horses. And they got the fire pit over here. And 70% uh, of well, isopropyl alcohol right there with uh, with the fire starter. But uh, just just kind of weird. I'm going to go check out these uh, this bathroom facility. Because who knows, maybe I'll come up in here and do some camping myself next time I uh, go east on the Florida Trail. Looks like we may have some showers in there. And wouldn't that be nice? I don't know how much it costs to, to stay here, but uh, being a disabled veteran, and uh, I'm not sure if this is a state, I don't think this is a state park, might be private, but uh, let's check out the bathrooms. Man, check it out. These are showers. Wouldn't that be nice if you were staying at this campground? And uh, nice big uh, handicapped toilet area there. Boy, I might have to, of course, we got the, the baby station, but mandatory. <laughs> yeah, this is this would be a good place to camp. All right, let's get that war story on the way back. I got a long ways to go to get back. So I, <laughs> I won't know how this video turns out until I get home and look at it on the computer. Once again, here in Florida, it was a 20, 10% or a 20% chance of rain, and if you, if you listen to the uh, liberals, that would be, a, you had 20% coverage. I always thought maybe that meant an 80% chance it wasn't gonna rain, but here I am trapped under a bridge. Whew, look out there. Something else, huh? So anyway, I was gonna, I was thinking, isn't it cool, as the cars go by, you can just see the rain splashing off, and uh, as soon as this calms down, I'm going to do uh, an Iraqi war video back at the picnic shelter. Um, but I did want to give a shout out, you know, I, I, I don't know if any of you have watched that movie, the, uh, the Hunger Games, but I think that's where we are. And uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, all the people in uh, Pennsylvania that are losing their jobs in the fracking industry. I want to give a shout out to uh, everybody in Wisconsin who has lost their jobs because the Keystone pipeline uh, has been taken down. Um, I would encourage uh, voters in those two states to get uh, 
get control of your Democrat cities and, uh, and your, your election laws uh, so that in um, 2022, uh, we at least will know that the election is not uh, fraudulent and uh, probably get this video taken down for saying that. But it sure did look that way to me, even though the courts never took up the case. Uh, so anyway, we're, we're done hiking the Florida Trail uh, all the way up to uh, Shang Shangri-La. And uh, there's there's where it came out. And uh, just to show you where we went in today, and I'll make be putting up that video. We'll go in right there, and then uh, once the rain calms down, I'll uh, get another video at the picnic shelter. I don't know how this is going to turn out because it. I'm, I'm, I'm a drowned rat at this point. I am drowned. So, <clears throat> made it back. <clears throat> We're in the, the shelter here. Luckily, the rain has pretty much died down, but it's going to be a, a wet ride home with the cars kicking up. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, I've got to, I got to give you know 60 miles an hour on the, on the motorcycle. Uh, but luckily, I got eye protection. I, you know, so whatever. I, supposed to be just a perfect day I was gonna tell a war story but um, we're not gonna get to that I'll do that the next time uh, at least we knocked out another portion of the Florida Trail um, don't know what to do about going north I, I got to come up with a cutting solution for all those many trees and uh, you know going up in the Ocala National Forest and um, well anyway we can always continue east uh, I'm getting to the point where I am gonna have to start camping my way along the Florida Trail, which is cool. I, I love camping, so I and I, I, like I said, I got the carrier now for the back of the mower. And uh, hey, just before I peace out on you guys, uh, I just want to say, you know, the Constitution is under assault. Uh, you know, free speech uh, is very important. Uh, that's that's why that was the First Amendment of the Constitution, and of course, your Second Amendment uh, rights are also under assault. Um, so you know. Whether you think that you don't want to hear somebody speak, everybody has a right to speak their mind. I value everybody's opinion and everybody's voice, and you should too. That's it. Peace out.